All right. <laughs> Who else do you want to talk about? What was that guy's name? Carry on. Johnson. <laughs> Wait, I thought the Podfather said it was Carrie Yawn. Uh, Don't ever call him the Podfather again. Matt. Kelly. Matt His Kelly. First name is so ass. I, but it's really. And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> carry on. It's really Carry On Johnson. <laughs> if you don't know, it's Carry On Johnson. I hit the wrong button, but it kind of worked it out. It worked great. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's a much different button. Yeah. <laughs> now he's just scrambling. So obviously, yeah. obviously, we just jumped ship from Panthers or uh, from Colts, uh, Seahawks onto this Raiders. Um, Colts. Lions game here. That's, yeah, my bad, Lions. Um, and really... What the hell are we doing here, Harry? <laughs> we're, well, we're trying to wrap up this damn show here, but we couldn't get out of here without talking about old Carry on Johnson and how well he just looked out there. Like, oh. You can talk about all these other rookie running backs, and we're going to talk about them. <laughs> I'm stunned. We're going yeah. to talk, talk about them. Got, got something in my throat. And we'll get to all... Maybe we won't get to the Rojos and the Chubs today in, in, in large amounts, but... Um, maybe on Patreon, maybe not. But what I can say, like you can make the excuses or say what actually happened with the Rojo and the Chubb, and there wasn't, didn't have a whole lot of opportunity. There's a lot of guys in the backfield. Maybe this second unit, third unit on the defense is better than the second or third unit offensively for each team. It's very circumstantial on kind of what's going on over there. Well said. Even though it was talking fast, is exactly how it happens in the preseason. But when Carry On Johnson got out there, it didn't seemingly. Ma- and again, maybe this second or third unit for the Raiders isn't as good as the second or third unit for the Lions. You know, take it all with a little bit of a grain of salt. But what you saw with Carrion Johnson, when the ball was in his hands, you just were not tackling him with some soft-ass arm tackle. You better come correct with Carrion because he's just going to do you up, hit you with that stiff arm, and keep it moving. Exactly what we saw on tape is exactly what just happened on the field out here. And when Carrion got his chance in every single facet of the game, which is why we liked him so much, because he was pass protect ready. He was Mm. catching the ball out of the backfield ready. Mm. He was running like a grown man. He was elusive. He had patience. He has everything you're looking for in the pro game. And as soon as he got on the field, it immediately jumped off the page. It didn't even look like they could find pads that fit this man. He just (laughs) looked like this monster out there who was just like, get off me, get off me. I'm going to do my thing. When he caught the ball, it was soft catches down the field, cutting dudes up. Every play he had was eight, nine yards. Dude was on fire. I know this, man. Absolutely. That was some fire right there. I'm going to toot our own horn here. Hell yeah. I try not to do too much. And obviously carry on could still be a bus, but like Ah. there wasn't, I, I, I can promise you there wasn't anybody out there in February telling you that carry on Johnson was a top five running back for sure. Yep. Nope. And we were saying it, and I said it a couple and weeks it, ago. I said it last week that nobody brought you carry on Johnson. Nobody brought you Chris Carson as early oh, as Casey. I didn't brought, even toot my own horn on that one. Casey brought you Chris Carson last year in January. We, we, and I mean, we, I mean, Casey brought you carry on Johnson this year in and February. Jay, Wayne. Jay Wayne's a big carry on guy. We I was carry, the one that said first that I we're like all carry, carry on, on Johnson guys, but Casey's bringing, That's untrue. We, we're trying to cumulatively, we ride Casey's back about these early talent evaluations. And no, so we we reviewed like five running backs, and, and we, when we we reviewed them all, and we go to talk about it, and I was like, let me get my opinion out there first, so that I can't just say I took Casey's opinion. I was like, I think I like Carry On as better than all these guys, and you're like, yeah, I think I do too. There you go, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I didn't need we, Casey to tell. Me. We don't sit up for back patent <laughs> situations. It's just that when I hear everybody else now try to come out the woodwork, yeah, and get or, out of here, it, you know, either either come out the woodwork being like, yeah, remember I was telling you about this carry on guy. It's like, well, just you, we've been consistently giving you this information, and we're not really big back pat kind of guys. But you just need to know if you're if you're just tuning in if you if you search Dynasty Fantasy Football on iTunes we're the first one to come up and we dominate that search page. So if you're just now listening in the last couple of weeks and you're trying to catch up on your Dynasty Fantasy Football going into the season, you know where to stop. Subscribe, give us a review, go over to the website, hang out with us, check us on the Five Dollar Holler on Patreon. Get in the family. Become a family member. Our family members have been with us. They know that we, we brought you carry on a while back. And if you had your draft and you got him at 110, that's, you, you know you love us for it. If you got him at 1-8, you know you love him for us. And if you got your draft coming up, bump him up the board. 
Oh, I mean, he's he's flying up the board right now. Just with all this juggling that just went on that we just mentioned, like there's no way he's always been at the one five for us for the yeah, most part. Yeah, but we've been telling teetered. people for months to trade back, right? Pick up equity and trade back until you could get all those other guys out of the way. Pick up as much equity right. as you could through your draft, and then grab Carry On Johnson. We've told you that. We brought up we on one after show. We specifically laid out every single trade that worked all the way up to us getting Carry On Johnson all the way back to in two a one. super flex league in a super flex league. But we got with him. A whole bunch of other dynasty podcasts that you probably listen to. Matt right. Kelly, Rotobon, Travis May, who's dynasty. now acting like he knows something about Carry On Johnson. <laughs> False. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who else? The Dynasty Nerds. Dynasty um, Happy Hour. Dynasty Happy Hour. The Dynasty Dummies, who didn't have a pick in the first round, I don't believe, so they're, they're out of this conversation. Yep. They're, they're um, carry-on guys. Everybody's carry-on guys we, now. We Dynasty Trade back. Calculator. Yep. All, all of them. Boys. Nice. Traded we, back with all those cats. And picked up to Kenyon get carry Drake. On Johnson. And got carry-on and Johnson. And carry-on. Oh, and that's how you motherfucking do it. And a second, and a third, and Albert Wilson, but who's counting? And an orphan team. Wasn't oh, even yeah. our team. It's bogus team. We Y'all boys are lucky you didn't let us in the league early on. <laughs> We'd have been in the startup. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Anyway, moving All on. All right. That was a solid. That was a lot of back patting. Toot. Yeah. Toot. For sure. My back is sore. I need, some ben, I need some Icy Hot or some Ben Gayer. What, what's, what's Shaq always promoting? Those back. Those, yeah. It's it's icy, icy Hot. hot icy Hot. Brand. Brand. Oh, yeah. Brace stick on. Need yeah, one of those. Back, back stick on. And I'm, I'm going to add one more right on top of this. We're going to stick with the lines and then we'll, you know, pretty much be out. We'll get a little Raiders in because I know you want to talk about Marshawn over there for a second. But old Amir, old Amir, <laughs> old Amir. The, the amount of hate that this man has gotten yeah. is outrageous. And now he's about to make the team. When you, when you go and look at PFF's efficiency stats and all those kind of things and their um, the signature, signature stats, stats, Amir is at the top of those lists in a lot of things. He just had bad opportunities and bad situations. And yeah, he had some bad runs, but he looked absolutely electric in this ball game that you just watched and nobody has said anything about it because they just love to hate this guy you might have to wait another year for amir abdullah maybe somebody trades for maybe 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 somebody trades for maybe the the lions trade for amir abdullah maybe somebody the lions or, have sorry uh the colts trade for amir abdullah just to tie it into the show um but amir did everything you wanted him to do in that game he caught balls he ran well out of the backfield he scored touchdowns he picked up blitzes he Yo, was absolutely electric. This is the only blurb that Amir got on Roto World, and it was at the very. It was the last sentence of the Carry On Johnson blurb, where it talked Couldn't about how awesome Carry On looked, and then it said, "Amir Abdullah added four for sixteen and one and worked out ahead of Johnson Friday." Like just, just threw that in there, right, right, real quick. No acknowledgement. If you put Amir Abdullah in the Theo Riddick role, he'd be everything Theo Riddick is and more. And right, more. for sure. Can't take anything away from Theo, but Amir is more explosive. Anyway, there was there was a couple other youngsters out there balling for uh, for the lines that I like. Old oh, uh, Billingsley is somebody that we talked about last year as a as just a deep guy who Golden Tate was love. I think they were calling him White Lightning at well, or White Thunder or something along those lines. <laughs> yeah, he has to remember that. Yeah, Golden, and Golden Tate, Tate was him loving out. him. Yep. Um, so he was out there making so plays. Like, that's and how then, good of a dude Golden Tate is talking up his right. predecessor or. And then incumbent. Uh, number eight, Brandon Powell was Takes the incumbent. Was absolutely just carrying this second or third team out there. He was everywhere, all over the field, making great plays. A player to definitely be watching throughout the rest of this preseason was. I, I loved what I was seeing from Brandon Powell from, uh, I believe, University of Florida. 